All right, in this video, we're going to look a little bit about centers of mass. So we've got the moment uh, about the y-axis, again, uh, our little m sub y, and that's the summation from k equals 1 to n of x sub k, m sub k. Um, our moment about the x-axis is analogously the, uh, we'll sum from k equals 1 to n of y sub k, m sub k. And to get x bar, uh, our, we'll take our, our, our m sub y and divide by the total mass. To get our y bar, we'll take the m sub x and divide by the total mass. So let's try to uh, make some sense out of these formulas. So suppose we have masses of 2 pounds, 6 pounds, and 1 pound. Uh, those are located at the points 3 comma 2, uh, negative 1 comma 4, and 0 comma 6 respectively. We want to figure out what's the moment, uh, what's the total moment with respect to the x-axis, with respect to the y-axis, and then also what's the center of mass of the entire system. So to get the moment um, about the x-axis, again, we'll use our little formula here. So we'll use our formula the summation k equals 1 to n of y sub k times m sub k. So to do this in this case, what that says to do, it says, okay, so it says look at each point and uh, we'll take the y coordinate, which, so the first point has a y coordinate of 2, and then we multiply that by its corresponding mass, which is also 2. And then we add to that, we just go to the next point, we look at the next little uh, y-coordinate, which in this case is 4, and we multiply it by its mass, which is 6. And then we look at the last point, okay, it has a y-coordinate of 6, and then we multiply it by its corresponding weight, which was 1 pound. So we've got 4 plus 24 plus 6, so we're left with the value uh, 34. Likewise, we can get the moment about the y-axis by doing the same thing, almost the same thing. So we'll go from k equals 1 uh, up to n, and this time we'll take little x of k, again times the mass. So now we do the same thing except we use the x-coordinates instead of the y-coordinates. So the x-coordinate of the first point is 3, again it has a weight of 2, Plus, and now we'll do the next x-coordinate, which is negative 1. We'll multiply that by its weight, which is 6. And then we'll take the last point, which is the, has the x-coordinate of 0. We'll multiply that by its weight, which is 1. So in this case, it looks like we get 6 minus 6, which is 0 plus 0. We're getting the value 0. So let's go ahead and do the last part as well. Uh, so that would be our, our part A, our part B. Let's go ahead and figure out what the, uh, the center of mass is. So it says to get x bar, again our formula, x bar is the moment about the y axis, divided by, again, the little sum from k equals 1 up to n of m sub k. All that represents is the total mass. And our y bar will be our little m sub x, the moment about the x-axis, again, over the total mass. Well, we've already computed most of these things, so the moment about the y-axis, we said that had value 0. Well, let's go ahead and calculate the total mass, uh, so we will need that for the second one. So 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So it says x bar would have a value of 0. Our y bar, which again is the moment about the x-axis, so we had that to be a value of 34. And again, we'll divide that by the total mass, which is 9. So we could simply say the center of mass, the center of mass would be at the point 0, 34 over 9.